as we all shelter in place, it's important we don't put off important health visits. However, medical experts are reporting many women aren't going in for their scheduled mammograms, which, be, which means more women are going undetected with cancer. Here to highlight what you need to know about getting a mammogram during COVID-19 is radiologist Dr. James Engelhart. Welcome to the show, doctor. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you for having me on today. Is it safe to have imaging done during the COVID-19 crisis? Yes, it is safe. Uh, healthcare workers in the field of imaging are taking every precaution to keep our patients and our personnel safe during this crisis. So what are some of the safety precautions that are being taken at the site level? Well, masks are mandatory for our patients and for our personnel. We're using social distancing in our waiting room, so the chairs are uh, placed about six feet apart or so. There's also markers on the floor to keep people separated when they're checking in, like you go uh, out or checking out for the grocery store. We're using um, sanitization of, ch of the rooms uh, in between patients so that we're using uh, that to uh, keep our patients safe. And we're doing something a bit unique. Patients are able to come and wait in our uh, parking lot and stay in their cars until it's time for the imaging uh, exam so that uh, they're minimizing the amount of contact with other people. Those are great points. And, you know, we've heard about mammograms over the years, how important they are for women to keep up with them to, you know, detect any problems, particularly breast cancers. Um, what's considered essential imaging? To me, essential imaging is um, coming in to have imaging that may find a life-threatening condition or to alleviate suffering. I want you to come in and have your CAT scan so we'll find your kidney stone or find your appendicitis early before it ruptures. Find your pulmonary embolism or find your stroke. And I want you to come in and have your mammogram because it's critical to find breast cancers when they're small. So what are the best tools or what is the best tool for identifying breast cancer and catching it early? Mammograms are still the best screening tool that we have. And, you know, what is the recommended age? I know that they say women should not wait until they're 50 for mammograms. How do you feel about that? Women should begin having screening mammograms at age 40 and not wait until the age of 50. Now, some women should have mammograms beginning even earlier than that if they have a strong family history. Um, I see patients that have um, breast cancers between the age of 40 and 50, and I think to myself, wow, if we had waited until the age of 50, this woman may not even be here. So it's critical to start imaging early. Right, it sounds like it's a matter of life and death in some cases. So you're saying because of COVID, you believe that some cases are going undetected. Um, I think so, you know, people are, are concerned about uh, right in coming in to see their doctor because they're afraid of the uh, COVID, uh, pandemic that we're experiencing and they're putting off their appointments. And um, I, I think that, uh, you know, women should still keep coming in on a regular basis because it, again, it's critical to find the breast cancers early. Yes, and I also know if you have a history of it in your family, you need to be a little extra. Um, take the initiative to get it done. I really appreciate you coming in and, and sending that message out there that women need, still need to get their mammograms done even though we're dealing with a pandemic. Dr. James Engelhart, thank you for joining us. For additional you, information Aubrey. on getting a mammogram, please take a look at the CDC website at cdc.gov.